Looks like I have found a new drag and drop application to build AI agents. Introducing NAN. This is similar to Rivet.ai, but a little bit more user friendly. This is a new tool that will easily automate tasks across different services. NAN is a low code platform that will offer a seamless blend of code and an intuitive interface. It serves as a perfect bridge between engineers as well as regular users just like me. Now, NAN is also extendable and it can basically be automated through different types of workflows and it can automate different things that you want it to basically complete. With a fair code distribution model, it is something that will offer different types of visible source code and it's available to be self-hosted. So this would allow you to add your own custom functions, logics, as well as applications. It's a node-based approach and it's gonna be something that we'll showcase throughout today's video. You might be wondering, how does it actually work? Well, you simply just connect and set up by choosing your NAN experience. This is by setting the triggers and fetching the data across various different apps. You can integrate different types of app nodes, which utilize 400 plus application nodes to manage your data. And at the end, you can have it so that it can be autonomous. So this will basically be functioning without any sort of human intervention, which is really, really unique. And this is something that we'll take a look at throughout today's video. Now, I know this might be getting repetitive, but I really want to emphasize on our private Discord as it has been thriving a lot recently. There has been a lot of great things coming out of this as you can just see from this like image right here on the screen where we basically just had a new partnership where we are giving out paid subscription plans for Dataku. And this is an amazing a effortless and accurate approach for data extraction. Now, this is just an example of something that we do and work with. There's multiple different paid subscriptions that are given out to our Discord members for free. You simply become a member and you get access to various different AI tools across the month. And it's on different ranges of AI tools. It's not necessarily just data execution tools, but it's various different types of categories in the field of AI. Now, we don't just end up giving out free subscriptions to AI tools. We also give out various other different things like collaboration opportunities where people can basically work as a team to build applications. We have various networks, we have news outlets, we have resources, as well as daily AI inputs. So definitely recommend you check out the Patreon link in the description below, as I really wanted to emphasize what you guys are missing out on if you guys are not a part of this. Let's take a look at an example as to what you can create using NAN. In this case, we're looking at an example of building an appointment scheduling AI agent. This is a two-step process, which we will take a look at. First, you start off by checking if the incoming email is about appointment. And the second one is getting a calendar availability and composing a response. Now, in this case, you first start off with the email node, which is using Gmail's API. You detect incoming emails, which is then sent to the LM chain, which is using Langchain's node. It configures as well as evaluates if the content of the email is related to scheduling an appointment. This is using an open AI model. In this case, you can use any sort of model by configuring it in the back end. But it's super easy. You're simply just dragging and dropping these different nodes to create this AI agent. Now, in this case, you then move on towards the next step, which is fusing these two steps together. This is where the Langchain node will confirm that the email is about an appointment and will then proceed forward to the next step. This is where we take a look at the second part where it checks the availability as well as com composing it in the response. So this will add a calendar app node to check if there is any sort of date that is available for this appointment. It will utilize OpenAI's chat model to craft that appropriate response and then it will actually then send it to through your email, which is really, really cool. Now, this is just a sequence that is showing you how the AI agent can automatically process incoming emails, determine if it's related to an appointment, and it can even check your user's availability to schedule an app or an appointment, sorry. This is all done using NAN, and this is something that we'll take a look at throughout today's video. Now, this is something that is so like easy to use. It's so much easier than Rivet, and I truly believe that most of my viewers will be easy, yeah, like will be intrigued about this because it's something that they can actually start using on a day-to-day -day basis. So with that thought, guys, let's get straight into the video and showcase how you can get started with NAN.
If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at NAN, which is a workflow automation tool. Now on this channel, we have covered many different types of tools in this genre or this category. And it's something that many people tend to have a lot of backing towards, but the thing is, many people don't know how to actually use it. In this case, NAN is a perfect example as to how you can create AI agents because of its user-friendly interface. You're able to easily drag and drop different nodes to create any sort of AI agent that you want with 400 plus application nodes, different types of plugins that you can integrate, and having it self-hosted. It's completely free and it's something that we'll take a look at throughout today's video. Now, before we even go further into taking a look at the capabilities, let's just showcase how you can get started with this. You can install it using NPM or you can use Docker. You're also able to access this on the cloud, but they have a pricing structure for this. So definitely keep that in mind. You're also able to start a free trial with the starter kit, but I believe you're restricted to using it for only like seven days. But in this case, if you want to use it for free, you can definitely get started by getting it installed locally. Now, if you're going to be installing this locally, the best method is obviously using Docker, but many people do not have the computational power to run that application. So in this case, you can use NPM to do so. You need to make sure that you have Node.js installed, Python installed, as well as Visual Studio Code. Once you have these things installed, you can then move forward by running this command in your terminal. Now, if you are to create an account on their cloud, you can choose two different options. These are two different flavors. You can click the standard option, which is recommended, or you can use Langchain, which explores more AI capabilities. In my opinion, if we're focusing on AI, we would definitely want to use Langchain with NAN. So you can then click continue, and then it will ask us a couple of questions to start this up. So I'm going to just fill this out, and we'll then proceed forward in showcasing this UI. So once you have answered your questions, it will then start creating your workspace. You can see that they also have a YouTube channel, which I definitely recommend you check out as they'll showcase how you can get started with using this. Now you then click on start automating and then it will then take you to your workflow, which you can start creating different types of AI agents. It's something that we can get started with right now. And this is just a 14 day free trial. So you can see it's a really nice, simple UI. You have your workflows over here, which you can manage. You have different templates that you can already use. In this case, there's different categories as to what you can use. It could be analytical, building blocks, communication, and etc. You have financial and accounting categories as well. So this is something that you can definitely take a look at because there's a lot of different things over here as to what you can use to create your AI agents. You have different credentials here. Uh, variables in which you can add different variables in as well as different execution lists over here now we're just going to briefly go over this and in the case that we run out of time for this video i can definitely make a new video on the private discord now due to the limited time i won't be able to showcase every sort of feature that is associated with nan but if you're interested i can do a live stream on the discord which is uh, something that you can access with the patreon page so if you're interested in this definitely take a look at this and i can potentially do a live stream that is showcasing different sorts of features with nan but for the sake of this video i'm just going to simply create a small little workflow in this case i'm creating a trigger for my emails which will schedule some sort of like meeting like we saw at the start of the video now in this case you can see that if you click on that plus sign you, there's different types of action items that you can use in this case you can create different actions in an app so you can create sorts different types of app nodes that you can use to execute different things you can then click on data transformation which will filter different things with that node so if you want different emails to be filtered out you can then add a filter so that you can only receive emails or you can only process things from a certain individual. Now, there's other things that you can also do where you can even integrate advanced AI to process or generate different things using your node. Now, you can even do advanced things where you can code it further, which is something that 
many coders or developers might be interested in. You can incorporate different files. You can tweak the flow and add other things to it. This is something that you can do with this. But in this case, I have a Gmail trigger, which is going to process the emails coming into my Gmail. In this case, I'm going to add another node, which is going to schedule my emails. So I'm going to set this up and I'll be right back. Now you can see over here, I just created a basic workflow that will schedule different events in my Google Calendar. So it will process every sort of executable events that are being processed through my Gmail using a basic LM chain. It's going to be using Mistral's cloud chat model. And this is going to process the invites, process responses for whatever is scheduled with my email. It's going to send it back to my Gmail, which I just need to set up by clicking and adding another node. It's going to then confirm that in Google Calendar, which accepts the calendar or the invite for the appointment that is processed through my Gmail. And then it's going to send another response that will be created using Mistral. Now you're also able to create different AI agents. So if you search this up, you can just simply click on the AI agent, which is going to help you in various different aspects. You can create a conversational agent an open AI function agent. You can plan and execute different tasks agents as well as use React and SQL. Now, uh, this is something that is really surprising to me because this is something that many people can actually easily create different types of AI agents. And this is where many people have reached out to me stating that, how do I actually use Rivet? But in this case, you can simply create any sort of AI agent you want with this drag and drop interface. Lastly, guys, you can even test this workflow out or even chat with it. So this is a way for you to see if it's functional and if it gives you the right responses. Now, another thing is that you can even configure this even further. And this is something that we have talked about previously. And this is where if you click on advance, you can click on the code or HTML request to configure it even further so that it best fits your requirements. This is something that you should definitely take a look at. And there's a full documentation as to how you can use this app. So if you're interested in different things associated with NAN, you should definitely take a look at the documentation first, the YouTube channel, which provides more information on this. And if you want me to make another video on this, definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below, as I'm going to be planning a live stream, which is showcasing each and every aspect of this. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video to be very valuable and you got some sort of insight as to how you can create yeah, agents. But with that thought, guys, make sure you follow me on the Patreon page. Make sure you follow the Twitter if you guys haven't already. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI trends and news. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.